Hi guys, my name is Teja Swini and welcome back to our fifth session of introduction to Japanese. Acha chalo ek baat bata deti hu ki apna fifth session hai matlab we are almost okay halfway there. So 10 din ka apna course hota hai and usme se panchwa session hai to halfway there of course and uh, I'm hoping ki pehle jo char sessions mein maine aapko sikhaya hai wo aapne acche se acche se padha hai you've learned it and you have you know, uh, uh, like uh, studied well and you have tried to grasp and uh, try to practice and get better and better each day. And now we're uh, almost, like I said, uh, halfway there. So, of course, difficulty level will si um, the people, like For people who have joined us um, like directly for this class, let me tell you that this is our fifth session. This means that we have released four videos before this. So uh, what I would suggest is go back, check the first four videos out so that you will be in sync with what's happening. And then you can, of course, start with this video. Today, we are going to learn about things around us, okay? Or things around me. So it's called in Japanese, Watashi no, Mawari no, Mono. Mono means thing. Okay, so mono is a thing and mawari is around or near me. So watashi is of course I or me. Watashi no, mawari no, mono. Abhi yaha pe, if you notice, we will not be using watashi wa. Why is that? Because watashi wa is again, like I had told you in the past, it is I or I am. Correct? So I am ki jagga, we are saying around us, not around me. To mere Aspas ki jagah. Main aspas ki jagah ne. Patashi wa, if you literally translate in Hindi, it becomes main. To main aspas ki jagah ne, mere aspas ki jagah. And that's why the uh, particle no has been used twice. Now, a ground rule, uh, like a pro tip, you can say, likh lo isse, yaad kar lo achche se. And this is for life, that the particle wa, okay, wa, wa particle can be used only once in a sentence. Okay, the particle wa ek hi baar use kiya ja sakta hai, sentence mein. Whereas the particle no can be used multiple times like you see on screen. So do baar use kiya and that's okay. But if you use wa twice in a sentence, that'll be wrong. Okay, uska meaning matlab hi galat ho jayega. So let's start with the vocabulary list. Uh, number one is chair. The word is chair. Usko bolte hai isu. The drill is the same. I'm going to pause for two seconds after each word so that you get to repeat what I'm saying. You get to repeat the pronunciation after I say the word out loud. Chair is isu. Watch or clock is tokei. Tokei. Scissors, hasami. Telephone, denwa. Denwa. Mobile phone, Keitai Denva, Keitai Denva, TV, Terebi, 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 Umbrella, Kasa, Kasa, Newspaper is Shinbun, Shinbun, Car, Kuruma, Kuruma, magazine is Zashi, cap or hat is Boshi, a bag is Kaban, camera, Kamera. Okay, now if you notice the word camera is uh, remains as it is, Kamera, to when you actually write it, uh, it'll be written in katakana. Camera, of course, foreign language word, English word. So, foreign language word, we write in katakana script. Dare is who. Who. Dare no is whose. It's pronounced as dare, okay? And not dare. So, make sure when you're saying this, it's dare. Who and whose. None is what. And Kore is this. Nan or Kore, we have learned it in the past. Like yesterday's and day before yesterday's session. So Nan and Kore is what? And this. Okay. 
Now, very, very simple session for today. Um, you need to remember two questions and two sentences to answer those questions, okay? When you want to ask someone, what is this, okay? You see a thing, you don't know what that is. If you go to Japan and you happen to be in a market and you don't know what that thing is, okay? You want to ask someone, uh, okay, what is this? So, English, with, of course, what is this? But uh, in Japanese, how do you say that? We say, kore wa nan desu ka? Kore is this and nan desu ka is what is this? So, kore wa nan desu ka? What is this? Okay, what is this? So, of course, the answer is any of the things. Now, mentioned below. These are, of course, all the examples. There are a lot of other things. Yes, the restriction is that many words in Japanese. Mein. Of course, each and every word has um, a Japanese word to it or it can be translated as it is, but of course, then when you're writing it, you have to write it in katakana. So that you can say bed or table or window or anything, basically any object we're talking about here. So to give you an example, let's take a uh, let's take the first few. So the first one is a chair. Chair. The word for chair in Japanese is isu. Correct. So kore wa nan desu ka? When you're answering, okay, kore wa remains as it is. This is kore wa. This is and chair. So, isu des. Ye, kore wa ye, kursi hai des. Ye kursi hai. Ye kya hai. Okay, kore wa nan des ka. Ye kya hai. Ye kursi hai. So, kore wa nan des ka. I know what is this. So, kore wa isu des. Okay. Uh, similarly, let's take another example newspaper. Newspaper ko word is shinbun. So when you're asking what is this? Koreva na this ka? Koreva shinbun des. Okay, koreva shinbun des. Or a cap. A cap is boshi. So koreva na this ka? Uh, no, koreva boshi des. Okay, that means this is a cap. So yeah, I hope you understood when you when someone asks what is this or when you want to ask what is this, you get an answer, Koreva Nani Nani Des in that form. Now you know already know what the thing is. Aapko pata hai ye kya cheez hai, okay? You know that's an umbrella, that's a TV, phone, whatever. You want to find out ki ye kiski cheez hai. who does this thing belong to? Okay. So what do you say? You say Koreva. Again, Koreva remains as this. Darin who's Okay, so who ka ho jata hai? Who's kiski? Hai na kiski cheez hai? So, dare no. Then whatever the thing is, because we already know the thing, you have to fill in this blank as well. So, kore wa dare no. Let's take mobile. Keitai den wa. Okay, keitai den wa desu ka? Kore wa dare no keitai den wa desu ka? Okay, so now here the word is ishan. Like, the name is Ishan. So let's say, let's take Ishan as the example. Koreva. Now, the name. When I am answering, suppose somebody comes, you come and ask me, okay, uh, so Tejasuni san, Koreva dare no kethai ranva deska. Whose phone is this? And I have to tell you guys that it's Ishan's phone. What do I say? I say, Koreva. Ishan san no. Okay, Ishan san no. Again, if you see, va already kore ke baad use ho chuka hai. Basic rule hai ki va uske baad nahi aega. Ek hi baar aata sentence pe. But also, if you say Ishan san va, kyun nahi aega yaha pe va? Because Ishan phone nahi hai. Ye Ishan ka phone hai. hai na? It's Ishan's phone. Ishan is not the phone here. So that's why we don't say uh, Ishan san va. We say Ishan san no. Matlab Ishan san ka kehta hai dan va hai. Okay, so Koreva Nani Nani San no Ketai then wa des. Okay, now um, let's take car. Okay, so Koreva Dare no Kuruma deska. Koreva Dare no Kuruma deska. Whose car is this? Okay, and the answer is Saili. So what do I say? Koreva Saili San no Kuruma des. Okay, Koreva Saili San no Kuruma des. Very, very simple session. Uh, this was probably the last part. So, uh, of course, uh, except the homework part. So, I, I hope you all have understood. It's me as a zada detail wala kuch hai batane ke liye. Like, there's no uh, complex grammar in this. But you need to remember certain things like the position of the thing or the position of kore and this and everything, right? Like, there's a little longer sentence than what we've practiced earlier. So, what I want you all to do is, uh, if you haven't clicked sc uh, screenshots or if you um, can, go back to the video. Uh, open the first slide, like the, like the slide where uh, you saw the question for the first time. 
uh, this one, Kori Vanandeska. Okay, I've gone back and I've shown you the slide. So what I want you all to do is, I want you all to practice all these sentences, but not just verbally. I want you all to write the answers to all these objects in Hiragana. Okay, very simple hai. Hiragana mein aapko likhne hai. You already have the script. You already know how to write it. Just take the object, place, the, place it properly in a sentence, in the answer, and write it down. Again, you know the drill. You can write your answers in the comment section below. I'm going to check them and I'm going to give you the feedback or I'm going to tell you if they're good, not good, if there's anything wrong, whatever is happening. I'm going to take a look and I'm going to give you the feedback. Um, also, if you have any questions, if you're, not, if you're not understood anything, make sure you put that in the comment section as well. You can also see our numbers and email IDs here. If you want, you can get in touch with me on any of these numbers. You can send in your queries or whatever you want to know. You can definitely call us uh, send us an email uh, make sure to stay in touch make sure to like this video and share this video with your friends and also if you want to enroll for our next level that is n5 n4 give this number a call or write to us on any uh, on this email id mentioned okay and we will get back to you as soon as possible so yeah hope you enjoyed um the next session is also an interesting one i know i keep saying this after every session but trust me it just gets better and better and of course uh, like I mentioned, the difficulty level is going to be a little more harder next week. So hopefully you'll, you'll, you'll practice the first five sessions. Must agar apni Monday ko start kya hai course, to Monday to Friday apne kar liya hoga, Saturday, Sunday aram karo. Agar apne randomly weekend ko start kya hai, to weekend ke din paanch uh, videos dekho. Uh, practice all these five videos and be ready for the next weekend so that you can watch the other five, the next five videos, okay? I'm gonna say bye-bye right now, but uh, I hope you had fun. Like I say every time, stay in touch. If you have any doubts in the comment section, you know the drill. Bye-bye.